A Memphis City Councilman is giving us the latest info about a push to get more Memphis police cars on the road. This comes after an ABC 24 investigation found that the department had cars more than 10 years old collecting dust in a public parking garage downtown. Now, a complete audit of the MPD's fleet is underway. ABC 24's Leah Williams has more. If we're going to recruit the very best, we have to provide them with the equipment that they need to do the job. When it comes to equipment, Memphis police say the department is lacking in one crucial area. <laughs> cars. That has been a big topic of discussion at multiple city council public safety and homeland security committee meetings since July. We do need more cars. I got a report that there's 37 cars assigned to Crump and only 13 of them are running. City Council Vice Chairman Ford Canale says the MPD vehicle shortage is hindering their ability to do their jobs. We have police officers waiting at stations to go out on their shift and they're waiting for cars to come back and that's just not acceptable. While MPD asks city leaders for more cars, ABC 24 found 10 to 15 year old Memphis police cars sitting here in a public parking garage downtown. Now, since then, some of the vehicles have been removed, but others like this one are still sitting here collecting dust. We have many cars that are sitting around that should have been gone a long time ago. According to the fleet inventory obtained by ABC 24, MPD has over 2,300 units and nearly 42% of them are eight years old or older. That number could be higher because some of the vehicles have no year, make, or model. According to the city's fleet life cycle policy and procedures, emergency response vehicles like police squad cars need to be replaced every five years or every 100,000 miles. Canale says the city council has been trying to do their part to make sure MPD has everything they need to make Memphis safer. In fiscal year 2023, the city ordered 70 cars and they're still waiting for 11 more in fiscal year 2024, 127 cars were ordered, and they're still waiting for 96 of those. And this fiscal year, 68 were ordered, but with money moved from the Capital Improvement Program, they will now be able to order up to 95 cars. Another issue contributing to the car shortage, crashes. As of Monday, MPD cars have been involved in 273 crashes so far this year, up from 254 this time last year. Almost every time you look at the news, there is a note, I mean, a report about officer-involved accidents. We, you know, buy vehicles and they keep getting wrecked and they have to buy more. 96 of those crashes found MPD officers at fault, a slight decrease from this time last year. Interim Chief Davis also cited slow maintenance and repair times for the shortage. Right now, an audit is underway on the state of the entire fleet. Once those reports are finished, the goal is to create a schedule following the city's guidelines of replacing those vehicles every five years. This is going to be a multi-year approach to where we can get our fleet back up to where we need it to be, but also maintain it there so that we're ordering, a, you know, a set number of vehicles every year so that we, knowing that every year we're going to take a certain number out of use. In Memphis, I'm Leah Williams. You can read about our full investigation on our website, abc24.com now.